Hey everyone, this is Chris, sometimes known as LOTR Deck Tech, and this week I am not actually bringing you a brand new deck of my own creation. Uh, you might be able to tell by looking at the cards that are sitting on the table right now, but this week I'm going to be playing with some of the content from the new two-player limited edition starter box. Uh, this is the Leadership and Spirit deck going up against the first quest, The Oath. Uh, and these decks are entirely unmodified. Obviously you can't modify the encounter deck to suit your whims, but the player deck is all of these cards. Uh, and I'm doing this mostly because I am really looking to get a good handle on how these decks play out of the box. I am planning on keeping my two-player starter set together as a sort of way for me to teach new players the game, introduce them to how it works, and have this nice cohesive looking experience without any sort of mucking about from me. Which does mean that in about <laughs> a day or so when I get tired of not having built a deck with Gildor, uh, that I will either have to find a new sleeve for him that matches all the others that I have, or, you know, print up a proxy that looks more like the other cards so that I don't feel like there's this weird mismatch. But anyways, that is what we're going to do in this video. Uh, fair warnings, it will be a little spoilery about the quest. If that's something that concerns you, uh, although I guess pretty much all the videos are, so... Oh well. Uh, let's kick this off. Set up the Eaves of Mirkwood, Goblin Troop is out of play, and there is nothing on the backside of After the Raid aside from some flavor text. Uh, my opening hand looks pretty good. I have Steward of Gondor and a Hasty Stroke, so like there's some really solid utility there right away. So let's get to it. Draw my card for the round. First things first, we're going to spend two of our resources, put Steward of Contour on Aragorn, immediately exhausting it to get those two resources back. I don't have anything I can do with them right now, uh, but that's fine. I've got Gimli for next round, and I can ready Aragorn. Yeah, honestly, should be just fine. So. Let's quest. I need to make nine progress on this quest. So I am right now going to send, uh, let's send five and ready Aragorn up against two. Oof. <laughs> All right, up against four, I will make one point of progress. Uh, I will travel to the eaves of Mirkwood. Pull that down here to indicate that it is not in the staging area. Uh, I am, as you may have noticed, playing with the actual tokens and the threat trackers that come with the two-player starter set. <laughs> I don't know whether that will be easier or harder to see on the video, uh, but it certainly is taking up slightly more space on my playmat because this thing is kind of big. All right, uh, travel to the eaves of Mirkwood means I cannot cancel encounter card effects. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, and I will optionally engage the Goblin Sniper because there's no other enemies in play. So let me defend with Nori. Uh, two attack. Oof, what is this? Choose and discard one attachment from the defending character. Well, now I'm really glad I did not defend with Aragorn. Uh, Nori will take no damage and Aragorn's three attack is enough to kill the hated Goblin Sniper. That's it for this round. We tick up to 31 threat. Stand all my cards back up. Draw one, get my extra resources. One, two, three. And two more on Aragorn from the Steward of Gondor. Uh, I just drew a Feigned Voices which would be fantastic if I had any Sylvan characters. I don't, so instead I'm just going to spend four on Gimli. 
which does reduce my threat by one, thanks to Nori. And since I have nothing else to play, I will spend one off of Gildor to draw a card. Well, that's Bofur, uh, who will be worth a threat reduction next round, so that's pretty good. All right, uh, questing four, three, four, five. Actually, let's do this five, because then if I get an enemy, Gimli will ready. All right, so five against nothing in the staging area. Okay. Five against one from the Tangled Grove means I make four progress, two on the eaves of Mirkwood, two on the main quest. And I can travel one card at random. It's probably okay. All right, let's travel to the Tangled Grove, which is now a zero threat location. Pardon my loud shuffling noises while I get a random card. Eh, Feigned Voices is fine, since, like I said, I don't have any Sylvan anyways. Uh, and that is it for this round. I'll tick back up to 31 threat. Refresh all my characters. Moving on to the next round, I draw a card. Get one, one, one. And two more from Steward. Okay, I just drew a sneak attack. And I have Gandalf in my hand. So overall, I feel pretty good. I spend one off of Gildor to draw another card. Interesting. Okay, I just drew Galadriel. I don't know if there are any other significant attachments in this deck that I could fish for. Uh, but it might be worth it anyways. I am going to pay three for Bofur. Forces me to pick this thing up and drop my threat again. Uh, sometimes I miss playing on Octagon with all of its clever keyboard shortcuts and easy mouse clicks. Uh, yeah, and I am good without Galadriel for this round. So, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, committed to the quest. Up against nothing in the staging area. We reveal a Spiders of Mirkwood. It's three threat, so I will make six progress. Three on the Tangled Grove, and three on the main quest. Uh, which brings me up to six. Oof, and Spiders of Mirkwood is going to hit like a truck. Uh, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's what's going to happen. All right, so I have to engage the Spiders of Mirkwood. Their 18 threat is way too low. Currently swinging in for two, three, four, five. Uh, which would not kill Aragorn unless he gets a nasty shadow effect. Oh, Gimli should be ready because enemy was revealed. Uh, I will have six to fight back if I don't use these guys, so... Let me sneak attack, bring in this Gandalf. Uh, and at this point, I will draw three cards. And now I know which <laughs> other attachments are in the encounter set that are worth paying attention to, because I just drew Calabrian Stone and Unexpected Courage. All right, so Gandalf is going to defend this attack, uh, which makes it six. Shadow effect does nothing. Gandalf technically takes a couple points of damage, but that's probably not going to matter. As I have three, four, five, six to attack back, get rid of the spiders, and Gandalf comes back to my hand. Back up to 31 threat in the refresh phase. All these characters stand back up. I will draw my card for the round. Aragorn gets three resources. Nori and Gildor each get one. 
Uh, I don't want to draw a card with Gildor right now because I already have so many. So instead, I will use two of these to put Calabrian Stone on Aragorn. So now he can pay for spirit cards. And at this point, I will use two more of these for an unexpected courage. So now I can use Aragorn a couple of times per round. Uh, the unexpected courage really does not actually seem all that great with this set of heroes. Uh, Aragorn's the only one that really has stats that are worth it. And he already has a uh, built-in action advantage thanks to his ability. Although it probably makes a much bigger difference in multiplayer. All right, let's commit to the quest. Three, uh, I will use Aragorn with his ability, makes it seven. Honestly, he's got to be enough. Uh, so seven up against nothing. Driven by a shadow gets Surge. Goblin Town Scavenger. Discards an unexpected courage. There's three threat for this round. So that'll make six progress, which is more than enough to clear off after the raid. We're on to 2A, just flavor text. 2B, get a forest location, add it to the staging area, and I cannot beat it unless there is a goblin trail in the victory display. So I guess I'm gonna pull out goblin trail. <laughs> and this stage requires 12 points of progress. So that might be a little bit. Uh, I will travel to Goblin Trail, revealing, ooh, a spider den, yikes. Um, is not unfortunately questing anymore, so I can't make that go away. But I will engage the Goblin Town Scavenger, feeling it a shadow effect. Uh, one attack, I will defend with Gimli. Attack enemy gets plus one, return it to the staging area after this attack. Uh, that is just super annoying. So, uh, not that one. Uh, this one, AC <laughs> stroke. I'm gonna cancel this shadow effect because I really sort of need to deal with this enemy. Gimli takes no damage. Aragorn is enough to kill it. Yeah, fair enough. Take up to 32 in refresh. Stand up all my guys. I consolidate Aragorn a little bit because his stack of attachments is getting too big. All right, draw a card for the round. Extra Calabrian Stone is not super helpful. Uh, Aragorn ends up with three resources thanks to Stuart Gondor. Nori and Gildor each get one. Interesting. Okay. Here's a clever thing. Uh, I will play a Woodland Courier. I come in and make two progress on a location. Hmm. Let's put it on the spider den. I think I can probably clear Goblin Trail by questing. I think. Uh, I guess I will spend one to draw another card. Sterner than steel is okay. Actually, it's probably pretty good with Aragorn having Sentinel. All right, so questing three, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 against four in the staging area. Yeah, I like 12 up against four. Uh, and I can trigger the spider den quest action if I really need it. So let's see what we get. Forest gate. Oh, that's a positive location. 
All right, so I sent 12 up against 6. Means I make 6 progress. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Which goes on Goblin Trail. Which immediately transfers over to the main quest once Goblin Trail is cleared. And Goblin Trail goes into the victory display. Uh, I will travel to the Spider Den just to get it out of the staging area. Now I've got a little more space because I cleaned up Aragorn. Oh uh, yeah, I guess that's all for that round. Take up to 33. Uh, temptation to get a spider anyways just for a little bit more excitement is definitely there. Uh, but I don't think we need to do that. Oh, these sleeves are still slippery. Okay, draw my card for the next round. Three resources on Aragorn, one and one on Nori and Gildor. I have a dwarf that I could play to drop my threat. I don't think it matters. Uh, might as well spend one off Gildor, draw myself a card to test a will. That is a pretty nice card to have. So let's quest again. Uh, three, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, up against two in the staging area. Okay, up against four in the staging area. I make eight progress, two on the spider den, and six on the main quest, which is the exact number that I need. And I do have a goblin trail in the victory display. So we are moving on, stage three, the rear guard. All right, so I have to add this goblin troop to the staging area. If there were more than one of me, I'd have to go find another goblin, but there's only me. All right, so now all I have to do is kill the goblin troop and make six progress. Uh, which I think I can probably do. Goblin Troop is also not immune to player card effects and is a higher threat cost than I need. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see what I can do here. I will travel to one of these forest gates because it allows me to draw two cards. And one of those is exactly what I was looking for. I now have a sneak attack, which lets me put Gandalf into play, uh, which more or less means that I will be able to clear out this goblin troop right now, no problems. So let's engage the goblin troop, deal them a shadow card. Then I will spend one for a sneak attack to put Gandalf into play. Uh, and now the question is, do I need to do damage with Gandalf or can I draw cards? Uh, quick math, defend with Aragorn, boost his defense with a couple of cards. I'll have seven to hit back, but I need nine to kill. Uh, eight to hit back with Nori. One short is a little unfortunate. So, okay. We're going to do damage with Gandalf. Uh, Aragorn is going to defend this goblin troop, swinging in for five. I'm going to spend one for a desperate defense, making Aragorn's defense a four. I'm going to spend one for a desperate defense, making Aragorn's defense six. And if he takes no damage from this attack, I get to ready him. If this attack is undefended, thankfully it is not. And Aragorn has taken no damage, so he gets to ready. And then three, four, 
8 with Gandalf is enough to kill the goblin troop using the math that I did before. So now we are ready to win the scenario. Gandalf back in my hand, tick up to a whopping 34 threat. Ready all my characters. And moving on, draw a card. Oh, there's a card that I have not played in a very long time. All right. Three on Aragorn, one on Gildor. Oh, I just realized I had feigned voices in my hand. I could have just fainted the goblin and not had to waste all those desperate defenses, but alas. Uh, so I need to make 10 progress this round, ideally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just do one, two, three, four, five. Play the Gandalf this time. Uh, and because it's about to be the end, and I definitely don't care about score, but sometimes find it interesting, drop my threat to 29. I certainly don't need all these cards in my hand, and I don't think I'm going to draw anything way more better off of the top. So, questing for three. Uh, oof, I'll use Unexpected Courage this time. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18. Committed to the quest. I'm against two in the staging area. Okay, Goblin Runner surges. Whew, oof, into another spider den. Uh, all right, I send 18 up against seven in the staging area. Is going to make 11 progress, which is enough to clear out and win the game. Uh, but just for fun, I will trigger the quest action on the spider den, pop out a spider engaged with me, because I am curious about the spiders that are left in the deck. Yeah, why not? We'll take a great spider. I didn't see one of those before, and that art is huge and just gross. All right, so now my 18 up against three in the staging area is 15 progress for just like a little bit of overkill, which clears out the forest gate and makes the six progress that I need in order to win this scenario. Uh, yeah, it, this deck feels a lot like a little bit better corset deck. Uh, I always tend to play three spheres when I go back to the corset anyways, so maybe I handicap myself a little bit. But, you know, it's, it's got a lot of nice toys. It's got a couple extra copies of things that you are more likely to want to see, uh, like Steward of Gondor, like the Calabrian Stone that always feels really bad that you only get one of them in the core set. Gildor lets you draw cards, which is fantastic. Uh, I guess I didn't see Light of Valinor, but like that card is great, always. And the art looks super fantastic, zoomed in. Quest was pretty good too. Like I, I feel comfortable introducing people to the game with this quest. Has a, a little bit of complexity, but not too much. Uh, most of the encounter cards in here are not that complicated. Uh, the quest stages are not that complicated either, but you still have that sort of looming threat of the goblin troops sitting off to the side, which you know is gonna come into play at some point. I don't know, all in all, I think so far, this feels like a really nice box for teaching people the game. All right, everyone, that's it from me today. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.